say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Welcome to our day, rock and roll. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> Good evening, afternoon even, guys. Um, we're outside. It's a bit bright, but we are off to the vets to do their yearly checkup. So that means vaccinations and just an overall check to see if their health is okay. And obviously we're gonna be talking about Alba's feet again, um, just to see if there's anything else that we can do, if there's any new treatments or anything like yeah see if we can help our baby with any new ways um but yeah it's hot but i gotta wear a jumper because when i move in my chair it has a tendency to rise up certain t-shirts and i have one of those certain t-shirts on so yeah that's not great um but yeah it's really hot I don't like it. I hate the heat. I'd much prefer the cold because you can add tons and tons of layers. But when it's hot, there's only so much you can take off. And when you've got to go outside like now, there's even less you can take off. So, not fun, but off to the vets we go. So just an FYI people, we all know we have to wear face masks, but can we do the actual good thing and put them in the bin when you're finished with them? Not chuck them in our garden and, you know, anybody else's garden around here or anywhere in fact. Off, off, off we go, off the vets we go, da dee da dee da dee da. Let's all go see Joe. Yeah. I got there. Yeah. That's a nice by the way, but I hope there's no creepy crawly and living in there. And um, there's another spider web. Let's hope the same. So we're sat in the car outside because we have to ring them and let them know that we're here. This is all a bit weird. I don't know how they're going to be able to get to both of our girls at the moment because of the way they're sat. That's how they're sat. I don't know. I literally do not know how this works. Because obviously with Gizmo, we were just like, F it, we're going in. Because even when we were with Gizmo when he was passing away, we, we, it was arranged for us to go out round the back and um, they were going to grab him from us from there but, but obviously by the time he got here he deteriorated so much that we were just like we're going in, we don't care um, but yeah I just I don't really know how all this works and whether they just do all their checks here or if they're going to take one in at a time if they are going to take one in they better be prepared because Alba will poo probably twice because that's what she does when she goes to the vets if she doesn't go out beforehand if she stays in the car we're all good otherwise I don't know oh they're coming now I think they're going to grab them that was fun Um, normally Alba only likes to go in when I'm with her she sticks by me like glue and she kept looking around and she was just like but my mama is not coming where is my mama why is my mama not there I need my mama I'm looking at you mama do you feel awful for not coming in mama and I'm just like I'm sorry baby girl um, but yeah, 
I don't know if I caught that, but she asked if there was anything new, and Sophie was like, no, everything's fine. Until the second time, and then you said everything's fine, there's nothing new. Well, yeah, you just took me off guard. <laughs> and then there's me shouting from the back, like, nope, there's this, and there's this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Sophie was just like, you might want to take them one at a time, because, no let's face it, they are wild. They're not. We, we can handle them, but... Yeah, most of the time. But they are dogs that they do better off the lead. They are a lot more controllable off the lead, ironically. When they are on the lead, because they are Spaniels, they just want to go. Um, so yeah, they don't often go on the lead itself. But um, yes, that was an adventure. Next, it's Dixie's turn. Cool. I love this. What are these for? Well, they're magnetic canvases. I didn't know if you wanted to do something for your dad's birthday or your mum's birthday they're or for adorable. us. I love them. And what are these? There's one missing because it wasn't there. They're oh. just little Care Bears and they, so they looked adorable. They are adorable. Oh, these are cute too. Oh, wait, we've got a lot of sea themed clothes for yeah. Nova. Why do you keep buying my stuff? <laughs> I love them. I love them. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> what was it? You didn't show them. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and it's Africa flavour. Yeah, it smells good. And look how cute these are. Have you shown them? Yeah. They are so cute. I want to touch one. I'll do it then. Okay. Oh, which one's missing? Um... Think rainbow belly. Yeah. The heart with the, the hopeful heart bear. We've got names. Wish bear. Wish bear? Did you name them? Sunshine bear. Yeah. Hang on, it's being washed out. Okay. Wish bear. Yep. Sunshine bear. Yep. Bedtime bear. Yep. Tender heart bear. E Yep. Harmony Bear. You're going back towards the light, babe. Oops. Yep. Um, surprise Bear. Yep. And Cheer Medicine Bear. Detected at the front door. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to look online to see if we can get the Hopeful Heart Bear because that would be cute to have the whole collection. Yeah. exactly like I thought it would. Fuzzy. Yeah, well, like velvety, but like... Is it capturing it? Yeah. I was in the wrong setting again. Uh, they're super cute. They are. Yeah. Yay! This is like our childhood Care Bears. We never had <clears throat> Care Bears. Ever. I think I had one. I think I had the yellow one, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I literally never had Care Bears. Never watched the program. I, I, I didn't even really know they existed until I was too old to care. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But they're super cute. I love them. Adorable. Oh. Thank you. In regards with the girls, Dixie's lost weight, which is good. Alba's put on weight, which we knew she was going to put on weight because the struggle we're having with being able to take her out. Ooh. Um, the vet made a great discovery. Um, it's around this time every year that we've gone to the vets to state that Alba's flaring up and it's pollen season. And Alba's allergic to three different types of pollen. Like, how dumb are yeah, we? I, I, I don't even... As soon as she said it, I was like, no, 
and I hadn't thought that, but that makes sense. So that would be why her feet are flaring up and why she's coughing and why she's scratching a lot more. We are so thick. So... I don't even... I don't... I do not <laughs> like how stupid we were <laughs> so they've recommended to take Pyroton three times a day however they didn't have no Pyroton in Poundland so I've picked up two different equivalents I just need to message them and ask which if these actual, are okay yeah, or if like it which actual drug is yeah better or okay or whatever or if it could be a one a day pyroton, or if it has to be three a day, or exactly yeah. like the dosage, like obviously because I don't know if you can get different strengths of pyroton or not. I think you can. Yeah, so yeah. Don't want to give her two. Where is it? Itchy itch. Oh. Elba, what are you doing? Uh, what? You seem to have hogged the duvet. Yeah, this is mine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to email them now and ask, well in a minute, about what dose. Um, and we're also going to ask for some advice of what we can kind of do. Because A, we can't really go out still at the moment because of COVID. But also, until her feet get some like strength back in the pads, we can't take her out because I'm not willing to put th her through what she went through when we did that last walk every single time i'm just not doing it um so we yeah we need advice um and the thing is if we do if we were to keep doing that with her feet getting shredded up every time she'd get to the point that she won't want to go out yeah and it's just it could build up the um, scar tissue it mm. can cause infections that can go into her bones which could lead to amputation i know i'm going on like really far out there but, but it, it can happen she doesn't have an immune system and she's got a ton of allergies so we're doing the immunotherapy to try and help give her an immune system but that doesn't mean that she can just go out and walks and keep cutting up her feet and risk it an infection plus it causes so much pain and it it hurts us seeing <clears throat> her in pain mm -hmm. so yeah, we're going to see if we can try and get some kind of advice. And also, because it does happen like almost every time we take her out, if we ever think about taking her out, we either um, have the guilt of it, like really bad guilt of it afterwards, or like we're anxious the whole time. What are her feet doing right now? Yeah. Or have they been... We just don't enjoy it. it. No. So, yes doing that once you've had a drink yeah because we are both uber thirsty yeah. <sighs> and exhausted yes <laughs> we think she's a bit sensitive it took all well, she couldn't jump up could she no. she was so tired and like mm. I mean, we were trying to encourage her. She just flopped back down on the floor. And then... It was we, the cutest rejection ever. Yeah. And then we tried to encourage her a bit more. Oh, I'm sorry. Put that in your mouth. And <laughs> then she did come up and now she's just like, I can't. Life's too difficult. <laughs> yeah, too tired. I don't know if you can hear the noises. Oh, that was a good view. <laughs> Did you see down my toes? Yeah. We love you. Yeah. Can you go back to sleep for about five minutes before we do meds? I'll think about it. Huh? Go on then. Yay. That's the ticket. I got my everything. Yeah. A really good friend of ours, um, she, yeah, when it was my birthday, she popped over with some presents, which was really lovely in itself. And then she said that she hadn't got, like, there was still one to come. She brought it over today, and it is so cool. Um, I'm going to flip it around, and you can see. 
So, here it is. Look at that. She made it herself and it is so stinking cool. We love it. Yeah, and I like it because it's... Hello, Dixie's face. It's kind of similar to how she wrote, designed with the little gems. Our um, canvas up there. And I'll show you the inside. Two seconds. So I forgot to say it's got a little like string ribbon thing to be able to tie it together. And she's, about to sit up. No, she's, she's got this uber cool holographic vinyl. And... She's then put the numbers there. Excuse me. No, thank you. Nope. Yep. And then she's got like put these holographic um Lego pieces. Nope. Scrabble pieces, which are awesome as well. Look at the colour of that, babe. What? Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I'll see it every couple of pages and I'm going to obviously get all the ones that don't have it it's also got them and then at the end there's like some oh spare bits so that was so stinking great so my head really hurts I just said to Sif that I've got this weird pain going up there and just a little bit behind my neck uh, my ear and it's like I can feel it throbbing going up which is really bizarre I think she needs a wee bit oh. <laughs> um, what's up? I, I did drop the key on out of her a minute ago oh. I? Um, I as you guys know Soph was diagnosed with pre-diabetes um, like August last year I think it was and She's been doing really good, yeah, obviously. I, that. I think it was like the year before because... Yeah, it was like during lockdown, I think, wasn't it? It was before lockdown because I had to have my sugars checked in lockdown and we didn't want to go. Oh. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah. Um, so obviously I'm, I'm we... I'm not sure if that door opened, just throwing that out there. I don't know. We've been working at it and obviously doing as best we can to get the weight off and eat less sugary stuff or in Sophie's case less carbohydrates and stuff like that because I'm more of a, like a really sweet person I'm give me ice cream chocolate pastries anything like that so give her bread pies pasties and it's so funny um yeah and definitely so if we went to have like treating ourselves i would probably get like a an aero mint bar and so forth get doritos um it's just really bizarre um but lately she's been feeling a bit woozy in the head um we didn't know if it was like stress or the weather changing or if it could be the diabetes like going from pre-diabetic to actual diabetic so luckily in the UK if you are pre-diabetic type 1 type 2 um prenatal diabetes is that what it's called I think so when you're diabetic during pregnancy um hey was that a nice drink um you can go online and you can get a blood glucose monitor um for free like you just gotta fill it in your name address what type of diabetes you've got um how it's treated like medication injection insulin diet exercise like whatever um and if you're successful to like receive one it should arrive within 28 days um well so was successful and she's got one and so she's currently setting everything Hello. up now. This one's pretty good as well because it can um, link up to your phone as well. So that's always helpful. I'll have any more. And it flashes like red or green or yellow basically. For when there's something wrong. 
which is pretty cool yeah and it's also good because you can set your own limits or you can use like the default ones I'm yeah i use default ones because i've not been told specifically yeah um i did try a little like a few months ago to get one um for her but we weren't successful that time around but this time we were um we have got a blood pressure machine uh, blood glucose machine anyway and so far her sugars haven't really gone anywhere they've not tanked really quickly or re like spiked super high we've we've noticed that there's been a few times they've been higher than yours but that is expected because yeah diabetic yeah um so yeah that's silica beads um it's just it's so weird because i'm on steroids which basically can make you diabetic i am i weigh more than so i don't move and i'm not diabetic and soph and i have been saying for years like we do not know how i'm not diabetic um and then there's soph and she ends up diabetic oh and i've got um pcos as well so it's it's just weird how it worked yeah. but um at least currently we know that her sugars have been fine and sometimes we, like she gets a little bit woozy and we're just like we need to eat something we don't feel well we're just a bit like in the head um so we've gone and ate something whereas what we've been trying to do these last few days is if the sugars like aren't low or aren't high and we don't feel weird uh, and we feel weird we're trying to push through it and just be like it's okay because our bodies yes we feel a little bit weird but our bodies actually coping number wise yeah exactly instead so of like diving straight to it's eat not necessarily like something medically wrong it's just a case of we just feel a bit weird for yeah whatever reason like maybe we've not yet drunk enough or something yeah or it's because we're actually eating healthier or like just it could be any reason and to know now that it isn't the sugars and we're not like going funny because of that it's just another way that's helped us know that it's safe to continue to not eat and i always remember this one saying that a doctor said to us and it's embrace the positive feeling of hunger and we, when she said that we were like what is that like, yeah whoa. and we've we've been really trying to work on that every time we do get a little bit hungry or whatever i i say it to Sophie and i was like we need to embrace this positive feeling of hunger and it just makes me smile like <laughs> i do not know how i remembered it. it it must have had that much of an impact um but yeah it's just another way to hopefully help us with our weight um but yeah it's now evening time so it's going to carry on setting that up and I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. So thanks for coming to Davis and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night everyone. Good night. There we are. We've just given the girls a bedtime treat. I hear so squeal. Dixie has just done this. Helped herself into a box and ate the majority. And she sat down there like she's going to get more. Poor Alba. Poor you, because you know, don't you? Was that nice, Dixie? Freshly munched. Man. Was they nice? You certainly look like you enjoyed yourself. Thank you very few. Dixie, last one. Not last box. She didn't get her initial treat then, but she certainly enjoyed that. She did. She was properly going for yeah. it. Yeah. No, though. Was that in your hand? The f oh, my hand. The thing with Dixie is, she is very, very sly. She's the sort of, if you like think of two children, there's the one that makes all the noise and gets into trouble and there's the one that's all quiet and sly and is actually the one that's been the little shit. Dixie, go and lie down.
go and lie down, please. And she'll often think she can get away with it. You are such a good girl. Well done, Albert. It's like I didn't do it, Mum. I just sat there and listened while she ate a box of tea. She did, literally, she was sat on the floor just staring like, Mummy, you're not going to do anything. <laughs> Princess. You were so good, weren't you? Yeah. That's my mum. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we're stuck in And then uh, there's Dixie like... <laughs> yeah! The thing is as well is when you say no and you, she knows that you like she's in trouble, she eats quicker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the same with her, isn't it? Yeah, it's so funny. Little poop bags. It's been a day. It has. <laughs> Been a day. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>